guys and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I am just fixing the color. It's going to be the same color. As you can see, it has faded a lot from when I first got it done. So I am just going to fix it. So real quick, I'm going to brush my hair out. I have my brush and my gloves, a little plastic, or sorry, paper bowl, and then this color intensity um, hair dye. I'll flash what it actually is on the screen. So I'm just going to take this hair dye and pour it into this bowl. Make sure I empty out all the contents into the bowl just so I can get the best value out of this. Completely empty. There it is. I went to Walmart today and looked for one of those little brushes that you apply it with and I couldn't find one. So we're using a fork. So just brushing it out now. part it down the middle cuz that's just the way that I've seen people on YouTube do it and that's also the way that the lady who did my hair did it originally so yeah and just a disclaimer I am by absolutely no means a professional so 100% amateur video this is the absolute first time I have ever dyed my hair like this by myself. So, just gonna take my fork here and put it on my hair. Um, this doesn't prove that this is an amateur video. I don't know what else does. The fact that I'm using a fork as a brush for my hair. I, <laughs> this is some Little Mermaid crap here. Like, I'm Ariel today, guys. <laughs> Once I finish with that part, I'm going to take my little brush that has a pointy end that I'm showing you now and take about ooh, I don't even know like less than an like probably about an inch of hair maybe I don't even know and just flip it over and do the exact same thing that I just did again <laughs> I'm trying to stay as far away from my roots as I can because um, I'm getting them done on Tuesday and it'll make it easier for her to get my roots if they are not dyed, if they don't have hair dye on them. So I tried to stay away from my roots as much as possible, however that became a lot more difficult towards the end especially because I just wanted to make sure that I got enough hair dye everywhere and yeah. So just continue doing those one inch sections. I realized there were spots that I messed up where I only did one side and then flipped my hair. Um, try to make sure that you do both sides just to make it even. to also make sure that you're evenly distributing the hair dye. You don't want one huge glob in one area and then barely any hair dye in another. It just makes the color distribute more evenly. See 
right here, I messed up and forgot to do the other side. And I realized my mistake and put it back down. <laughs> Another good thing to do is, as you see, I'm kind of pulling it through my hair here. Just try to make sure that you get hair dye everywhere, and like I said, in same amounts instead of some here and then a lot here and then not much here, you know. Um, so just try to make it as even as possible. <laughs> it back over here I'm about an inch away from where I originally started and just putting it back on and doing the same thing to this side as I did to the other make my part look so big. It's really not, it's just how bad my roots are. Yeah, so this hair dye smelled like Dr. Pepper. I'm not like the weirdo who smells hair dye or sniffs hair dye or whatever. Um, but it legit smelled like Dr. Pepper. I was almost tempted to just stop here where I just have my mostly roots done and do the ombre, how it, with the dark top and the light bottoms, but I am, like I said, not a professional at all, so I didn't want to take any chances about messing it up, so I just went ahead and did the whole thing. Pushing this back afterwards was such a pain in the butt. So here I'm kind of just clipping up the top part. Because um, I was going to try to do my back roots. But it just didn't work out. I <laughs> It didn't happen. I couldn't see what I was doing and I didn't know what I was doing. So it just didn't happen. <laughs> I'm just kind of using my hands to apply now that I've got the roots all done or the, I guess not quite the roots, but almost the roots. I guess I got it all done. So, and then I ripped my glove. <laughs> At this point, I was getting super, super, super nervous about if I would actually have enough to finish my hair. Because I only had one tube. And she had used two tubes on my hair um, when she did it originally. So I was super nervous that I wasn't going to have enough. And I literally barely even had enough to do this. 
So I think next time I will get two tubes from her for when I need to do it again. Just kind of going through, I look like a monkey looking for some fleas or bugs or something, but just going through to make sure that it's all even and that I didn't miss any spots. Doesn't look too bad on the back. I was just kind of showing you guys what I was doing. I couldn't even see the back at all. So, because I couldn't see the back, I pulled Jake in and had him show me if there were any spaces that maybe he could see that I couldn't and <laughs> contemplating so hard here it's oh that face was beautiful I love it um, but he actually did find a lot of pieces that I would have just missed I wouldn't have noticed so thank you to him for that <laughs> Brave soul touching it without gloves. <laughs> he washed his hands probably like six different times. <laughs> mm. Final run through. Oh my gosh, he didn't want to touch it again and have to wash his hands, so he used my hand to show me where it was to touch on my head where it was at. <laughs> So now I'm just finishing up the rest of the hair dye and putting it in my hair so I waste none. I was so nervous that it was going to be super, super patchy and that there were going to be places that I missed and yeah, I was super nervous about this. So as you can tell at this point, I'm like, I don't even care about the roots. I'm just dying my whole head. My roots didn't really even die. Anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, I hope. <laughs> Checking to see if I have blue on my shoulders. I was expecting them to be a lot more blue than they were, so that was good. felt like such a smurf with the blue hands and everything, or an avatar or something. And then I'm just putting it up with a clip here. And I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes and then we'll come back and wash it out. I guess I said 30 here, but it was actually only 20. Um, so now I'm going to rinse my gloves out since they're the only gloves I have and because it's professional hair dye. It didn't come in a box, so it didn't come with gloves. So this is how we're looking right now. Sorry, it's kind of dark. Um, pretty much just looks the same as what I showed you earlier. But, so, I'm gonna go rinse it out now and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so I'm using this. Sorry, it felt like I missed a strand. I'm using this, just the Aussie Mega Moist... Um, shampoo along with the conditioner and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this and um, mix it in with it so this is just viral pastel color or pastel turquoise color wash is what that is so yeah see how this goes here's what it looks like wet so I'm going to go dry it and style it and then show you the finished product. Alright, here is the finished look. Not bad, if I do say so myself. 
it's not like very patchy like I think it looks pretty good so I didn't like straighten my hair or anything I just blow dried it into place and put some hairspray on it called it good <laughs> for now um if you guys want me to do a tutorial of me like full on doing my hair, straightening it, and then also a makeup. I've asked um, people on Instagram, like I said, if they wanted to do a get ready with me. And I got a lot of good votes for that. So if you want that, um, give this video a thumbs up. I'm also considering making a second channel for stuff like this specifically, like for my hair, my makeup, tutorials, stuff like that just how I do things type of thing. Um, so if you think that's a good idea, leave a comment, let me know, or if you just want me to post them in the videos like I have been doing, um, let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, pretty successful. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And then I'm going to get up in the morning and do my makeup with it. So yeah, good morning. So I am going to do my hair like I told you I would. So I'm gonna go do it and then I will show you the finished look. All right, so, so here it is. Literally only takes me like <clears throat> two minutes to do cause I have super thin hair. So yeah. Ta-da! And now I'm gonna go do some makeup. Got my hair finished and my makeup finished. So this is how we're looking. And as you can tell, I'm about to go to work. I work from 12 to 8 today, which, um, it's not really in my availability time, but, um, that's okay. I am <clears throat> applying for full-time position there and I have to have open availability so at this point I can't really say no to a shift because then it shows that I don't have open availability <laughs> shows that I don't have open availability so yeah I don't typically work past six o'clock because that's when Jake gets off of work but doing it today so here we go I honestly just cannot sleep it literally is 1.32 a.m. And I just can't sleep. It's just not happening. So I was like, you know what? I'll get up and work on the vlog a little bit more. Um, so I just want to get this vlog up ASAP. So just real quick before I end this. Um, Jake's uncle um, passed away last night. Um... Not last night, last night, but, like, two days ago last night, because it's, like, 1 a.m. But, anyway, um, so he left behind his wife and two kids. Um, so Jake's family just started up a GoFundMe page. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave a link for that in the description below if you guys could donate any extra change or anything that you have. Um, to help with funeral costs and just helping her get up on her feet and everything, um, that'd be great. If not, just please, please, please send prayers to her poor family. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for your support and everything. And like I said, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think, and yeah. Any suggestions, anything, just throw them straight in the comments, guys, I'm open. So... Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.